Hi, I'm Katie. Welcome to the Heart of the Valley YMCA Science Y. Today we're going to explore a chemistry concept called pH. pH is a kind of water chemistry. When people have swimming pools, they test the water from time to time to make sure that it's the right pH. If the pH gets too low, we say that it's too acidic. If the pH gets too high, we say that it's too basic. We've worked with pH before when we used pH strips to measure it, but today we're going to use a different method. We're going to use a vegetable that has a natural pH indicator in it. That vegetable is the red cabbage. In your kit, you have a measuring cup, a spoon, a bottle of water, some lemon juice, baking soda, a paper with some colored blocks on it, and some cabbage powder in a little bag. Open up your kits and get those things out now. Red cabbage contains a natural pH indicator, which means that it changes colors in different pHs, and we can use those color changes to figure out what pH the substance is. So what do the colors mean? Well, that's what your guide is for. And by guide, I mean the paper with the little colored blocks on it. That tells you what pHs the different color changes indicate. Notice that there's a number under each color. So this substance, for example, it changes to a sort of yellowy clear color. And based on the guide, that means a pH of about 14. So this is pretty basic, because numbers on the high end are basic. Numbers on the low end are acidic. Well, what if it's right in the middle? See on the guide, pH 7, this color, this purple color, that's right there in the middle. So pure water would be an example of this. We wouldn't say it's acidic or basic. We would say that it's neutral. Okay, let's get started. You'll need your measuring cup, your water, your cabbage powder, and the pH guide. Open your water and pour it into your cup to the 110 milliliter line. Then take a tiny scoop of cabbage powder. You don't need very much at all. See, it just covers the tip of the spoon here. Take that tiny little bit of cabbage powder and stir it in. The water will change colors. Use your guide to identify what pH just plain water is. So probably you found that the pH of the plain water is close to seven. That's pretty much the middle of the scale here. And we talked about the middle of the scale. We say that it's not really acidic or basic. We call that halfway point neutral. Next, grab your lemon juice and pour it in and watch what happens to the color. Did your water change colors? Probably it got a bit pinker. Check your pH now. You'll probably find that it's a pretty low number because lemon juice is an acid and acids are low on the pH scale. Next, you'll need your baking soda. We're gonna stir in a big scoop of baking soda and then we're gonna test the pH again. What do you think we'll see? So this step is really fun because you might see some bubbles or some foaming when you add the baking soda to the acidic solution. Probably you have some extra cabbage powder. You can take that home with you and you can test substances that you find there. Try things like tap water, hand sanitizer, conditioner, beauty products, shampoo, whatever you want. Then you can use the guide to identify whether that substance is an acid or a base. And that's it for this video, but there's more. Check out our website at scienceway.org or email us at scienceway at ymcahuntsville.org.